Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna do something a little different today. We got a collection thread, collecting, collecting thread, collect, collection thread, viral stash of sealed plus promo JP. And this is uh, this is located on E4. I'll put a link down below uh, so you guys can check it out. But uh, I think this would be a nice little change up. If uh, if anyone hasn't discovered this yet in the Pokemon hobby. There's probably always going to be something that you haven't seen, especially when it comes into like the, the Japanese stuff, uh, the merch that is non-card related. There's uh, there's Pokemon everything. Everything exists. Everything that you think might exist, it exists. It's like Rule 34, but less sexy. It's, uh, it's all there. So we're going to go through this thread. Uh, I thought it was interesting. I was taking a peek at it. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, and uh, this is this is interesting, and I was kind of kind of in the market, kind of looking uh, to see if uh, if maybe we could pick up a Japanese collection of some kind and do a live stream kind of unboxing experience with that. And uh, and this is kind of this is scratching that itch. This is giving us a little prep work for that. Um, maybe I have to bring on somebody that's like uh, more has more expertise if it's a really really obscure collection uh, in terms of identifying certain promos and where they came from and what they were and how they were released. Uh, a lot of that stuff is out of my wheelhouse, but uh, that's kind of how Pokemon works. There's no one that is an expert in absolutely anything and everything that exists in Pokemon. It just doesn't happen. It, 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 there's too much. There's too much to cover, too much to learn. Uh, but uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of learning regardless. We're gonna. He's got a nice little layout here, lots of posts. Let's, let's get into the post here, the first one. It says, I posted in the recent purchases thread yesterday with a per picture of tons of boxes full of JP sealed goods plus boxes and boxes full of hollows and promos. These were all bought in Japan between 2015 and 2017, and I shipped them back to my family in the UK. I'm home now and taking a look through them, and I want to document here what I find. I'm not intending for this to be a... Um, Pretty thread. I'm going to box. <laughs> I'm going box by box. We'll post things as I find them. I likely won't get through everything in the time I'm here, but we'll be back over Xmas or for whatever else there is. Apologies in advance for potential double posting, as I have waves of sorting through stuff with some updates. I have videos I want to share too. So if anyone knows a good way to upload them, please let me know. Uh, for some backstory, most of these were collection purposes through. Though I was also selling to the UK and US marketplace, I sometimes think I single-handedly messed up the Japanese market by increasing the interest in abroad in the Japanese product. Those fun packs that Mandarake and other stores sold, where you pay $30 and get a pack of 100 random hollows, I literally bought all of them every day to beef up my collection and sometimes auction them off. They, of course, no longer sell these. For reference, if cards slash goods have price stickers on them i will not be removing them so it can give you an idea of how much some of these cost just approximately six years ago so that's the thing too six years ago the very few uh people outside of japan were, were collecting the the japanese cards um there were some collectors that would often go into that i think that's kind of important that's a a, ni a nice little um reminder uh, that the current Japanese uh, Pokemon card market was not always the way that it was that that's a new new crazy hype dog thing that's going on um, so so take that uh, with uh, with a huge consideration I'll check for you please note that I'm um, in the process of trying to bring everything back to Japan and not currently selling if there's something extremely rare that's pertinent to your collection and you might never see it again if you don't get it from me please do let me know and that doesn't apply to mass-produced cards, lol. Anyway, hope this will be fun to look back on with me. Yeah, there's certain stuff here that I I just took a quick gander through uh, before uh, hitting the hitting the record button on here. But uh, yeah, there's with the Japanese stuff with the Pokemon Center. Like, there's the most obscure things that you would never think would have Pokemon branding on them that do. Uh, not to mention all the promos and stickers and material that like came out at countless events. Like you, you could you could spend your entire life uh, and still the next day uh, after you die <laughs> see something that you haven't seen. All right, so look at look at this bad boy. Holy crap! We got the big big boy totes. We got some Pokemon Center logos. We got some Mario Pikachu's right there. We can see through the the totes, uh, but I think he goes into detail on. Uh, on most of it. All right, post number one. I'd ideally like to sort through things before I take pictures, 
but there was this random rocket box with some amazing stuff inside. So I wanted to get pics of these up first. Also, a little experiment. If you guys want to leave a, a comment down below, uh, let me know uh, if anything, anything that you see in here, especially if it's something of interest, if there's like a hundred things, you can just kind of pick one that you haven't seen before. Uh, we, we rolled through these, these pictures. I'd be interested to see um, if anyone doesn't and isn't familiar or hasn't seen at any point some of the items that were in here because it, it, it's probably everyone. All right, we have approximately 1,000 loose holographics and promos. Unfortunately, not all sleeved. Holy crap. Top sign booster pack with the gum still inside it. Three Anna boarding passes. So Anna is like airline in uh, in Japan. For anyone that doesn't know, they often do have, well, not often, but there, there are quite a few uh, collaboration products that are Pokemon related. Pokemon Center Osaka sticker. Six sealed fun packs. See below fun pack info. Uh, I gave some info in the post above, but essentially these were blocks of cards with a theme, usually all hollow cards, and I essentially bought these every day to fill my entire collection. These are ones that I likely intended to auction, but never got around to doing. Info on these from the visible cards. So also anyone that's interested in buying like older Japanese stuff, I do have, uh, there's a, a code that you can use, uh, buy -y. Uh, that'll give you a 2,000 yen off your first purchase. If you're not familiar with YE, I also have a video on how to use it. If you're still confused or you're still looking for something or need to know how to use it, um, then uh, you can join the Discord and I can do my, my best to help. Um, a lot of it is, is practice, getting used to, to searching on those marketplaces. you got to be a little bit careful um, with, with some of those. And, I mean, you know, there's there's going to be some sketchy stuff no matter where you go, but... Uh, but with the right guidance, um, we, we should get you up and running. It's uh, it's best if uh, if there's anyone that's interested in that, if you could join on one of the uh, the Saturday happy hours. Uh, if there's any questions or, or concerns that you have with using Bai, um, then I, I can answer those. All right, we have Pikachu, EXs and Promos, not clear if all or some. Suicune, all uh, Magi, it mentions Hollow, but not clear. If all or some, Shining Mew, 100 cards, all hollow. I usually got some gold stars and the like in these. Rayquaza, hollow EX, and promos. Again, not clear if all or some. Charizard, all hollow, some UR, SR. Uh, CDs are all old backs. So I'll open up all the pictures here. Uh, we won't spend too much time on each individual picture. If you do want to uh, deposit, you're welcome to do so. But th these boxes look jam-packed. And you can tell here... This is not, there's promos here, but there's also, there's like stickers, there's there, man, the merchandise, the amount of Pokemon merchandise uh, that has been released in its entirety in the entire world. I mean, English has a lot of different Pokemon products that have been released. Japan is like tenfold. It's ridiculous. There's an insane amount of everything ever, even up to this, this day and age. Um, our Pokemon Center uh, in like the US, Canada, like the Western world, I guess the UK now as well. Uh, is not even not even close to what's uh, what's on the the Japanese Pokemon Center. Uh, so, in terms of like extra sleeves and some of it's not trading card related, some of it's products. Well, even on the uh, the Western Pokemon Center website, there's like dishes and oven mitts and and stuff like that. It's like, it's insane. I don't think we're gonna see any oven mitts today, but. All right, post number two. I've organized quite a lot and took a couple pictures of things I'm likely not going to be bringing back with Japan to Japan with me. Some poncho hand towels and other various Pokemon Center first edition, first anniversary gifts. So, <clears throat> all right. So here's, I guess this is getting into what I was just talking about. Um, the We get the, the Wild West of, of random towels and, and, and stuff like that. Postcards, clear folders, dividers, everything and anything you could possibly think of. Um, insane. And imagine that, like, I don't, um, it's hard to say. Some of this stuff, there's probably someone out there that, like, collects all the, uh, the, the Pikachu towels that ever released at any point. Uh, and maybe they'd be chasing after these. But again, that's like, you're in the niches of the niches when you're collecting Pikachu towels and face gloss and stuff. All right. What do we got here? Ooh, we got the Pokemon Center online, the Lapras with the Pikachu in a box. Very cool. We got the, uh, I don't know when this was from, but we got almost like a special delivery Charizard slash Pikachu. Maybe that'll come out someday in English. Uh, <laughs> we have, we got the old Lacken Rock. I can't remember for the life of me what scent this is. So there's that as well. I am terrible with names on the Japanese end of things. Um, but uh, 
something sun and moon, something probably half of like, wouldn't be, would it be, I don't know what it'd be. Someone let me know what this would be. We got the uh, Tapu, we got uh, Sun and Moon era booster boxes. Um, and I, I can't, if I'm gonna, if we're gonna guess this one is a dark, dark fuzziness. And this one is Sky Babies Extreme <laughs> for the Japanese set names. We could look it up. We're not gonna do that. But if you do know the name of these two booster boxes, do let me know down below. And that, again, that's one, that's one of those things that just, man, I, I touch a lot of English stuff. Um, we've opened some Japanese product. We're, we we kind of quenched that for the time being until uh, the Japanese market kind of cools off. Even making content, it's it's wild and, and crazy to be uh, to be paying like triple MSRP for for booster boxes. Uh, so I probably strongly recommend that everyone kind of do the same with all the like super modern stuff. Uh, the Sun and Moon stuff is probably never getting reprinted in any way, but uh, any of the the recent stuff, I think V Star. V Star Uni, V Max Climax, V Star Uni and newer maybe is like reprint central. I can't remember what the statement said. Something like that. So hopefully, and then hopefully just to, they they can just match whatever. If people want to collect Japanese cards outside of Japan, uh, then they just need need to accommodate for that because it's madness. It's madness over there. And opened a jungle booster box with some sealed packs. This was how I bought it and have left the jungle packs in the bag. And they were in. Not sure how many. Didn't open any, but still cool nonetheless. Yeah, this is interesting too. So like, depending on how long ago did somebody like open until they got the cards that they needed. Uh, the the jungle set. These are there's hollow in every pack, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so why they open some and not all? Uh, hard to say. Maybe they completed their set, um, or they got you know whatever card that they were looking for, cards that they were looking for, and uh, and left the rest. Hyper sticker collection. All packs inside sealed. That is a very cool. Again, this is definitely something that I haven't. Oh no, I think I have seen the stickers. I don't think I've seen them in the box though. That's interesting. Five of these blister packs, very cool. Again, we're in the uh, the the sun and moon era, and I don't uh, I don't I can't remember for the life of me. I'm sure I've heard the names of the sets before, but do not remember. GBC carry case. I actually bought this in the a TK Max in the UK, but found it its way into these boxes. Interesting. Very cool. We got the nice little stitched stitched Pikachu. Nintendo licensed product, international Nintendo. Very cool. Game Boy Color, is it? Okay, all right. I don't know. It looks like it's an official license. It's not like third party that somehow got a license to, to make a Pikachu. Carrying case, these three Bandai card ass folders. Black one has some damage, but the blue one is actually full and likely complete. That's pretty cool. So I can slightly get out of the way here in case anyone wants to see the entirety of the image. Those are those are pretty neat. I don't yeah, you don't see those very often. Not maybe not that they're necessarily um, hard to find, but Alright, cool. Alright, there's the inside. The pages. Kinda neat. Alright, alright. Pocket monsters. We got like little sticker sticker cards. That's kind of neat. You can get like uh, it's like the Pokedex. A certain amount of the Pokedex. What do we get? Whoa, what do we get? Whoa, whoa, whoa! We get some very cool sleeves, matching sleeves. They like to do the themes on different items too. Um, very cool. We got the Mandaraki. Little deck deck action. The the Pikachu's. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I think we're okay. We're going through here. We'll, we'll open them separately until, I think, later on the posts are, like, in one chain. All right, what do we got here? Post number three, one more random box of miscellaneous sealed stuff and cards. I'll showcase before completing the sorting. If someone can tell me how to upload the slideshow of pictures, then I'll add some close-ups of some items. The box before trawling through everything. Again, like you, when it's a box like this, you don't, you don't know what's in there. I mean, you kind of know what's in there based on the top. We got some sealed product kind of things going on. Everything inside, very cool. You get these uh, decks. Very, very neat. All right, all right. Man, the poncho and the, I remember like the Mario Pikachu. It was kind of weird. 
that's like one of those products. I mean, there's a lot of that when when there's something like that comes out in Japan, you're always just like, is it going to come out in English? Uh, the Mario, the Poncho stuff, just it never did. I don't know why it didn't. Um, whether or not it was like licensing licensing stuff uh, that kind of made that difficult. It's but it's weird that uh, that they wouldn't want to kind of just bring that over into English as a product. All right, we got some brake sets. Um, very cool. So I guess like fl flash, flash fire, part of flash fire, um, part of like our fates collide and part of steam siege. I would imagine, uh, I can't remember the, the breakdown. Um, typically the, the Japanese sets though, there's like two sets that'll combine into one that is the, the English set, uh, for the most part, other than like specialty sets and, and stuff like that. All right. We got some, some more close ups. We got the 20th anniversary the old Mario Pikachu. Don't see many of the uh, the Luigi Luigi Pikas. I would imagine. I I don't I don't have either. Um, again, I try to uh, try to keep to my my English sets, which are enough of a goal. Um, but uh, interesting to see that there's a lot of people that just have like the the Mario and not the Luigi. I know I don't know if I've ever heard anything about whether they they printed them in like equal amounts. Um, but, you know, personally, as somebody that's more of a completionist, I, I would think that I would want both. We got the Salamence deck here. Very cool. And again, the, there's probably more to the story about these decks, what you should know. We got Sealed Play Promo Flareon. This was actually quite expensive even back then. 27k? Holy moly. Yeah, that was expensive. The Gold Star Flareon in Japanese. The little, the little P. Pokemon Fan Club, 096, PCGB, PCGP. Very cool. Like that. Coming up with our favorite Pokemon. We got the Celebi EX. 39 bucks. I don't know. 30, 39. Usually the, the Japanese stickers... I don't know if this maybe this was purchased somewhere else uh, that it has a sticker. I got I got slumped in with the other stuff. We got the seven thousand yen mu seven thousand yen mu ex two sealed Charizard ex art collection. Very cool. It? It's always Venusaur that's fighting Charizard. You guys notice that? Where's the? Is it the blast? You don't want the blast always to win. Charizard always always picking fights. With the uh, the Pokemon that he hits for weakness, full jumbo, full jumbo sealed ass set. I have great picks of all these inserts that I'd love to upload if can work out the slideshow. Very cool. I think we got we got slideshow coming up. Very very cool. And uh, boarding passes. Do you think PSA will ever grade the Air Nippon Gold passes? They're quite vulnerable to scratches. Um, that's hard to say. If there, if there aren't, like, a lot of people asking, then maybe not. All right, what we got here? Are we, are we in Slideshow Town? We're in Slideshow Town. All right, Celebi was the first one that we're looking at here. We'll take a look. These are the, the Jumbos, I believe. Yeah, Jumbo Sealed Ass 4. Very cool. Very neat stuff. Stuff that you don't see all the time. Stuff that you probably haven't seen ever. Um, I know that every time I'm looking through anything like this, uh, and it's definitely a, it's a it's a rabbit hole and a half that you can get lost in. Mill tank, little to little happy togepi, very cool. Um, and definitely something different that you could put in a binder. I don't think these are extremely expensive, and it's hard to say if you could get something to store them in that would be uh, appropriate. It's kind of neat how you have like half the Pokemon there. Mewtwo gets his full face on there. I guess he would look weird if they if they put half of them. I say that, and then all the Pokemon after that are not half their face. All right, we got we got a little Pokedex action. Very cool. What in the world is going on here? Oh, is it like a size size comparison? Like, why are there appliances on this one? <laughs> is this a, they're just posing with a Rot Rotom, right? It's just a foreshadowing for Rotom that hasn't been released yet. 
All right, what do we got next? It looks like I only have a single pack of those from what I've seen so far. So likely it won't sell, but if that changes, I will let you know. Post number four, and again, another box. I'll post the contents of before complete. I complete sorting. As before, Here is here's the box before I rummage through it. Very cool. All right, all right, a little peek. And a lot of the time when you see listings um, in Japan, uh, it's like collection sales and stuff like that, you, even English sales, you gotta be a little bit careful um, because like they could be just like some good stuff slopped on the top and then maybe some not so good stuff underneath. Um, so there's too much for one picture. So here's the first and I'll add the others to follow up post. Very cool. We got a grand opening. I haven't seen that before. Oh, that's uh, the Tokyo Pokemon Center grand opening sticker. There's always all kinds of like, uh, I guess, exclusive merch to certain to whatever Pokemon Center it is, usually if they open a new one um, or, or anything of the sort. I guess we still see that when they have like the temporary, when they have worlds, they have like a Pokemon Center pop-up. Uh, they'll have exclusive merch for that stuff. So um, I can, uh, again, that's getting into the, the mega niches. What in the world are we looking at here? Is it stickers or is it pop-out tokens? Two Tokyo stickers, one from their regional opening, which I think is really cool. Oh, wait, we got, we got a slideshow here, slideshow. Slideshow. All right. All right. We got the JR Railway. The the train, the bullet bullet train. A little Pikachu on the back. We got the uh, Pikachu playing soccer. That was back in back in XY. I guess this is the uh, original Futsal Pikachu before the Futsal Pikachu that was an absolute craziness in terms of price and then got reprinted to Oblivion in a different style release and uh, kicked everyone's butt that purchased them prior to. Very, very cool. All right. What's next? We got a uh, grand opening. We got Pokemon Center Tokyo. We got these Moonbryons. The, guys, they've always been Moonbryons. It's been right in front of us all along. Uh, there's always a moon in the background. Maybe not always, but oftentimes there's a moon in the background of an Umbreon card. All right, follow up from book four, adding pics of the Kyoto Pikachu playing cards and uh, Hanafuda set. Very cool. Very interesting. I think there's a lot of that going on recently, people collecting and or grading the like, playing cards and Uno cards and, and stuff like that that aren't necessarily Pokemon trading cards. All right, we got some sleeves. Look at this poor Whimsicott is getting... Getting something that he doesn't like. All right, what else we got? We got m magic playing cards. What in the world? It, we got hyper magic collection. Okay, so I don't. Is that like a repack kind of thing? Oh no. These are also playing cards. Interesting. We got Pokemon card game. Some special coins. Man, there's and that's the thing too. There's a ton of different coins. Um, I mean, there's a ton of coins in English. Um, on the English market or English releases. And then there's also a, a huge amount of stuff that was like limited release. Um, I, I haven't yet met someone, but I'm sure there are people out there that know top to bottom every single release of, of, of coins and probably has some like massive coin collection. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that more people don't have the coin collections. I mean, you can get like the binder pages that have like the coin slots. I haven't, I mean, I have so many coins, but I, I also have so many duplicates of coins. If there's any coin coin peeps out there, um, I, I might have some some coins for you. Now for the next stuff of things in this box, I personally, because I'm doing like one of every English card, I, I can't bring myself to, to try to, to collect other things. Um, I have like a few other items that, uh, that I keep, um, but uh, to get into collecting everything and anything Pokemon, uh, you, you start getting into some some wild wild space issues, um, or your house would just be entirely decorated in Pokemon, which I guess yeah. If the, if that's what you want, if that's what you're going for, these are two coin boxes which were exclusive to Nagoya Pokemon Center. Really cool ornaments display slash slash display items. Uh, some close ups below. So we got like little coin coin banks. We got the golden golden magic card. Looks very hand painted. Very cool. A little slot in the head. Wait, what? 
What's going on here? Is that where you get the coins out of the Magikarp butt? Interesting. I can't say I've ever seen these before, so that is uh, that is another new one for me. Continuation of the previous box. All right, we got some Nintendo 64. I can't say I even know what this is. It's a po Pocket Monster card game. Was there a card game for the N64? That I, I'm not knowing about? Did we just not get it in the West? All right, we got some uh, cool other cards. We got some, some kind of cloth, maybe. Uh, maybe like a terry cloth, little little chamois of some kind. We got a grand party sticker. I also haven't seen the grand party sticker. This seems to just be a grand party sticker. Um, not much else, unfortunately. Various jumbo cards, all kinds of jumbo cards. Shout out to Fitz in the Discord who collects jumbo cards. I don't know if he has any of these or all of these. Ooh, this is kind of cool. We got a happy birthday jumbo Pikachu. I don't know if I've seen this before. Or this. We're missing out. We're missing out on all these these uh, happy birthday Pikachus, birthday Pikachu releases. Cool Porygon and Hungry Snorlax in their rightful place. I also have 30 plus copies of each card unsealed in the card boxes. Holy crap. All right, we got the Porygon. We got the Snorlax. Very cool. And again, I'm, I personally really like the the stuff, the Japanese stuff that hasn't been released in English. I think it just makes it, it makes it extra special. Um, for that reason, this is very cool. We got a free. And there's one thing hiding in the pick, which I haven't shown a close-up of. It's one of my favorite cards in my possession, so might as well play a little game. Guess what it is And once, and you guess right. I'll post some close-ups. Master Scroll. Oh my god, it is a Master Scroll. They read them like a book. like a, They read them like a scroll. All right, here we go. We got the Master Scroll. If anyone doesn't know. There's, I mean, there was and is, always has been an obsession on E4 with this Master Scroll. Um, personally, I don't get it. Um, but uh, but let the memes, let the memes tread on. All right. Next post. Oh, yeah, I remember that time. Mandarake were great with them. Though I do remember harassing the Pokemon staff member to take me, to make me more and more blocks every day when I lived in... Uh, Fukuoka for a bit. I did the same in the Mandarake there, except every time I bought it. The next block went up by 1,000 yen. By the end, it got pretty expensive, but still was worth every penny. A lot of the stores in Nakano Broadway just did the hollows on the outside crap, but it was usually easy to spot, so I just didn't purchase them. I got 5x Rayquaza Gold Stars, in which... All got PSA 10 from those blocks, so we'll never complain. Uh, and let me show the last lot of things from this box. I don't know why I said Rayquaza. I used to say Rayquaza, and then I started saying Rayquaza, because Quasar. Um, but, you know, sometimes you, you just kind of flip back and forth. What we got here? We got some Legend cards. Very cool. The Latias, Latios. We got the Lugia Ho-Oh Booster Pack Artworks. Very, very cool. I like that the legend branding was on the uh, the outside of the packs in Japanese. Not something we saw in English. Third anniversary Pocket Monsters. Telephone card set. So telephone cards as well. Uh, definitely a niche collectible uh, that people get into uh, in, the, in the Japanese end of things. Um, there's some really cool ones. Some stuff that you don't necessarily see all the time. Here we go. Third anniversary pocket monsters, uh, and then we got the uh, the sparkle, sparkle zard, sparkle zard, with the, the Venusaur, Pikachu, and uh, Blastoise on there. Very cool, very sparkly. Um, phone cards. If you if you need to phone a friend and you need to do it in Pokemon style, I guess that's the way to do it. We got a Pikachu, little baby Pikachu. Uh, here we go. What we got here? Some promos, various Anna promos. So that's the Anna Airline promos. Very cool. Here we got the Flying Pikachu, which is very fitting. I suppose it doesn't have more actual like branding on it. What is going on here? Oh, we're hiding. We got the uh, the complimentary artwork. That's pretty cool. All right, 
Miss Postcards. Again, we got the postcards. We got the Max Mofo postcard collection that he does. JR Stamp Rally Promos. Eevee and Mewtwo uh, English uh, JP reprints. My, uh, all right, let's, uh, we'll, we'll zoom in on each one just in case anyone wants to see exactly what's going on here in a bigger, in a bigger image. Or uh, you can always check out the thread itself. Very cool. We got a, a nice little promo set. What is this? Um, Hitmontop and Cleffa? I have no idea. If anyone knows, do let me know. Let let them know what uh, what they're dealing with here. Finally, this beautiful Legends of Blister. I have one more with the dogs and another box. Really wish I had a sealed box of these packs, though. That'd be cool. Yeah, the Legend packs are pretty cool. We got the Ho oh, we got the Lugia. We got the we got the starters down on the bottom here. It's kind of weird. Seems a little out of place, but Xylites coming in with the comment. We got the magic magic playing cards. Is this going to stay sealed? Oh, oh my! I don't know if you. I, I have no idea what if you can how rare or if you can find these or how much they would be if you could. All right, post number five. I finally sorted through everything minus the cards. I'll be slowly uploading, so bear with me. But there'll now at least be a theme running in each update. Before I get into it, however, I'll add a picture of the only two cards I did get a chance to sort out from the rest since they were not in the card boxes. First is a Masaki Omastar with the original insert. Very cool. Did I say Mosaki? Mis Misaki. The Misaki Omastar with the original insert. Uh, these are really cool. Uh, you had to send in to get them back. Essentially, it was like the trade system where if you trade a Pokemon and it evolves, um, the Misaki Mark or Dents uh, you see are because they were all packaged and mailed like this. So you have these little flaps. So oftentimes you have like a little Mark or Dent uh, on the on the two corners, the two opposite corners. Um, that's for that reason. But very cool promo, very cool release. Um, I think I have a video on it, but uh, if not, you can you can look up that. Um, th again, one of, one of the cooler promotions or, or things that uh, that they've done and i wish pokemon would do more uh releases like that or if if the west could get anything of that sort that'd be cool mail in uh kind of uh get some cards back that evolve or something like that and finally a no rare desired i've had a few of these guys in the past with my best getting a psa 9 but i'm adamant that to this day it should have been a 10 always wondered if they were pop controlling back then well, this one got a 7.5, and then I found out Arita was holding a signature convention in Italy after I had it graded, so I just got him to sign the case. Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, I don't... The case case signature is kind of weird to me. Um, I would think, like, even if you, want, if you wanted to keep a certain card in a case, but again, this is all preference. If this is what you wanted, if you wanted it on the case, on the card, um, if you want to crack it out, sign it, put it back, get it graded again, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, that's kind of up to whoever is getting it signed and keeping it. Then, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to. All right, what do we? Have? I sold them all to pay for rent for my master's degree. Unfortunately, much much cheaper than they're worth now. I had a five at PSA ten when the pop was thirteen. So, people got to take that into consideration too. I mean, it, you can't hold on to everything. Um, and if you had other things that were a priority to to purchase or to have, it's the same thing with like. There's tons of cards that I didn't, I haven't purchased yet that have gone up in price um, since I started uh, collecting. And it's, there's, there's not a whole lot you can do. You just got to live with it. Um, and just, just if you spend time in the hobby, chances are you're, you're doing pretty well. And you just kind of have to forget the, the, the previous pricing. I mean, you still got to be careful that this isn't like some kind of crazy spike on something that's going to retrace. We've seen a few of those recently. 2021 was just essentially everything, everything vintage. Um, I think most of that has come back down now. And when I'm pricing stuff, usually I, I kind of just go and look at that. I was like, okay, what was the price in 2019? What was it in 2021? What is it now in 2023? Uh, did it come back down to earth? Uh, if so, then uh, it's probably in a good spot or a good time to, to pick any of that stuff up. All right. Yeah, it's sometimes daunting to look back on, but I'm glad I had something liquefiable at the time post number six probably not too interesting to most but an assortment of magazine books manga etc etc all right what do we got here that's pretty cool um i'm not sure what is it is it it looks like pokemon adventure is down on the bottom right here the special but i've never seen this i need to get back into uh to reading and finish off uh, adventures um i'm on ruby and sapphire right now 
So I got a, I got a long ways to go. The Silver Bible sealed. I actually really want to open it, but I also want to keep it sealed. So we'll likely buy an open one to go along with it. Yeah, it's probably probably your best bet. Very cool. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, this has a lot of uh, basically a, a list. It shows all the different uh, different cards, all the like really rare stuff. Um, cool, very cool book to to look at to flip through. Not awake books, very cool, very distinct artwork on those bad boys. I guess we can zoom. We'll zoom in. See those a mile away. Close-ups of everything else, including the not awake books. All right, we, we, we got a little slideshow here. Very cool, a little poster action. I always hate when posters and stuff like that are like uh, are are creased or bent for the sake of. Uh, I mean, sometimes they're not going to fit in anything if you don't. So there's uh, there's always that. We'll take a look through here. Very very cool. The old games. The old yellow version. Very neat. This is really cool. I have no idea what this release was. Is it a is it just a poster to go with for like the Pokemon Adventures? Very cool. I wouldn't mind getting one of those if they're if they're inexpensive. Be kind of cool to have framed. All right, all right. Uh, let's get on to the next thing here. All right, post number seven, sleeves. Oh my God, there's so many. If you guys haven't noticed, Japan has just countless sleeves always coming out all day, every day. Um, and uh, yeah, there are definitely some like sleeve collectors. Uh, it's interesting. I've heard people uh, that uh, that load up their, their suitcase full of English sleeves to bring over with them when they go to Japan uh, because the, the shops and, and collectors and stuff like that there, they, they enjoy the English side of stuff. Uh, because they don't get the the same sleeves that we do, um, so uh, again, we we probably would like the uh, the Japanese sleeves a lot better. The the variety that they have over there is is insane, um, but also I guess just the fact that it's uh, it's exclusive to a certain re region kind of makes it makes it what it is. Um, that I don't what in the world is going on here? We got a Smeargle who's drawn on the wall and a Lugia who's just being majestic next to him. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right whoa okay we got half shiny half not shiny or half mega and not half not mega i am so confused this is uh this is pretty cool no we're all we're all mega but it's shiny and not shiny i guess i don't know i don't think i've ever seen those that's interesting we got the poncho pikachu with the lucario suit oh my goodness the pon the poncho peaks yeah, the Poncho Peak is it really blows my mind that we never got any of those in the on the English side of things, uh, in terms of like the promos at least. The sleeves I kind of understand that we didn't get them, uh, unless they were bundled into something that had them. Very cool. We got a Hoopa. What is? It? We got a Hoopa with donuts instead of rings. What in what were why, why, why does that exist? It's cool. It's cute. But I don't know why it exists. All right, very cool. Um, yeah, sleeves. There, I, so many, so many different sleeves. All right, we got more sleeves here. We got Charizards. We got the old uh, slow pokes. What in the Pikachu with a four-leaf clover? I don't know if that had anything to do with St. Patty's Day or good luck or what is going on. We got the wait. We got we got sleeves of a chancy coin. If you, if you can think of a sleeve, it probably exists. Wait, what? Is that like Powerpuff Girls but evolution? Am I? Is that is that what that is? Is that is that allowed? Was it a thing? Was it a real thing? All right, we got the Charizard again. Oh, we we got Pikachu. Is it a? Is it a plushie of Pikachu wearing a Charizard that's also riding on the Charizard? We got a Dedenne that's dressed like a Pikachu. Okay, all right. There's a lot going on there. These are cool. I like these with the old fossil fossil sleeves. That'd be cool if you were if you were running some kind of fossil deck. We haven't seen a fossil deck that's been. I think they've tried a few times here recently. We got the Meowth in the old uh, the fuzzy zone. Again, Hoopa. 
Hoopa, lots of Hoopa, Hoopa merch. I got a Hoopa playmat on my desk right now. It was like the Ultra Pro one, I think. Can't remember what it was from. Gyarados. Okay, we're back into the... Uh... Oh my god, there's so many sleeves. This is really cool. Pokemon card game. Wait, are these just... These are just sleeves that look like the back of a card. That's kind of neat. Surprised we haven't really seen that in English. I guess it'd be kind of neat if they, uh, they changed the back. Pikachu surfing. Very neat. Very, very neat. I guess we're into the sun and moon kind of era here. We got Gumi. Is that supposed to be a, like a, a choice belt or something? We got a rare candy and ice cream in the background. That is very creepy. I, well, I guess we're into the creepy zone here now, guys. What? We got the the booster pack artwork, or booster box artwork for a sleeve. Okay, we are in the creepy zone. Confirmed. What in the world? We're riding in Tauros. We got Tapu Koko in the sky. Cool. We got the Rotom. Rotom decks. We got Misty Psyduck sleeves. We got Pikachu and Ditto. Ditto and Ditto, I mean. Ditto that is a Pikachu. Lots of Pikachu sleeves, I would imagine. Pokemon card game players. I don't... Is this like player club uh, sleeves that you can get? Regardless, very cool. Definitely a lot of those that I haven't seen before. I've seen a lot of sleeves. Um, because usually they'll get, uh, they'll get posted or shared on on social media as they come out but some of these if they're older definitely have not seen them that is very cool i don't know if that's a tokia art we got blastoise versus the old zammer this is a very cool oh we got it's uh the i was like what is going on there on the top there but it's the uh the mega mega alakazam very cool here's the whimsicott oh no he looks happy he looked a little bit scared in the in the smaller image. We got the uh, doggy boys. There's something about the sleeves that are just like the silhouette is kind of boring to me, uh, and a lot of like the English stuff that we got that's like silhouette based. I'd rather just have let's just put the image of the Pokemon on it. We got Lily. We got whoa. We got the fairy fairy mashup super squad, um, and a and a Charmander and a Pikachu some for some reason this is kind of cool we got like almost like a hawaii style postcard all right i think yeah we've seen all these all right next down where are we at we got the what oh i was gonna okay we got photoshopped one day psa might just do it graded card sleeves i mean yeah maybe can you imagine you had a pack you have a pack of 60 sleeves or whatever and you can Grade all 60 of them. That'd be wild. All right, post number eight. Wouldn't be fair to just post sleeves. So here are the deck boxes I found. I actually use these for storage, so only about 50% are sealed, but still some amazing designs, so I'll showcase them all. Very cool. And then, again, a lot of the deck boxes, as you can see, will uh, will match the sleeves. Get some uh, some early, early boys up there. Very cool. Um, all right, let's ream through these real quick. Sun and moon. We got the sun and moon stuff, the XY kind of stuff going on here. The natuses. That's a cool one. The Alakazam box. I think that, yeah, that's the same hoop of art that's on the, uh, the playmat that I have here in front of me that we got in English. And I can't remember what the product was. And I might have, I don't know if I got it in a collection buy. Uh, I used to buy a lot of collections uh, when I was kind of first starting out. Definitely the, uh, the economical way to do so, uh, to collect. Because if you're, if you're picking out the stuff that you need and want, and then selling or trading the additional stuff from the collection. Not to mention the fact that you're kind of, you're kind of paying less because it's a convenience factor for the person that's looking to just dump everything all at once rather than list it individually. Um, so depending on what you're after depending on how much free time you have. We got the Mewtwo's. 
we got the Chari Zords. Very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, so merch-wise, all kinds of stuff. Post number eight, blisters and half decks. A few of these were posted earlier, so I won't say too much. Very, very cool. These, yeah, these kind of display nice if you had like one of each or something. Um, it's gonna be careful again with like sunlight or I mean, with anything that uh, that's that's inked up, any of this stuff, just keep it out of direct sunlight if you want to put it on display. I'm in absolute love with the seal that perfect set though. First pick below, artwork is incredible. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember these. I've seen a few of these. Very cool. These like versus versus decks and stuff like that. Pretty awesome. Very space consuming. It'd be hard to like, if you had a ton of these to keep it organized in some way with a lot of the stuff being like different sizes. Um, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure people people manage. Very cool. Is this it's Chinese? Chinese base? Japanese base? What are we looking at here? Web. Very cool. The versus the versus packs. I will at some point one day collect the versus set. It is uh is one of those things that I will make an exception for. Uh to to go outside the English sets that I'm collecting. Very, very cool. What were those base set packs? Does it say? Just that they're boosters. Can anyone identify what these are? It looks it looks it's Japanese. But I didn't know that their first edition, I didn't think the packs looked like this at any point. I'm confused. I'm very confused. The final close-ups. All right, we got them. Coming in on the close here, I think. I think this is the last post. These are kind of cool. We got the... Man, there's so many of these like little like freebie pack, cheap pack, bonus pack kind of products and stuff like that. Uh, that uh, those are also pretty hard to take some deep deep knowledge and learning to know exactly what's what here i mean this kind of tells you that it's like the ashes pikachu um i don't know if it's like it's one of six or that there's six cards in in the pack or how it was released in J japanese but we got them in english i like that that's pretty cool Right, post no, no we're on we got post number 10 sealed boxes this is the final one since they since my cards have not been sorted and I'm in Portugal right now, hence the slow posting. I'll sort out the cards probably in approximately two months' time if we can get them back to Japan from me. So if you're watching this a couple months after the release of this video, you can probably go check it out, and there might be some updates beyond what we're going to see in the video here. But I hope the that the content so far has been interesting, and perhaps you've seen something you weren't aware of before. Oh, we have. We have. And uh, thank you very much to Viral for, for posting all this uh, and giving us the opportunity to kind of look through it. Very cool. All right, close-ups below. I'll keep some of the slideshow since they deserve their own mention. First up is the quick starter gift set, which someone correctly spotted from the first photo somehow. <laughs> they I don't know. I don't know if I noticed it in the first photo. Maybe part of it was showing. Uh, maybe part of the border or something here, which is kind of identifiable. Uh, and the uh, the pattern that's on the box itself. Quiff, quick starter gift. Very cool. So we got the uh, the old little marbles. Any any Gen Gen One peeps that were around, you've seen these marbles. Um, the little the little flattened marbles on one side to use as counters. Very very cool. We have next up is a set of the six gym leader sealed boxes. It seems the case I had made for it is slightly cracked, but the decks themselves seem fine. Oh no. Oh yeah, little little crackage. Yeah, with this, with with like the screw and the the like points, pressure points, you gotta be a little bit careful with the, any of the acrylic stuff. Very cool though, the full set. I don't, why, why did they not do them all in the same style? I feel like it kind of, the aesthetic would be ten times better if we had the Sabrina and the Blaine in the same style as the rest of the uh, the trainers here. 
I guess this is city. They got English on the box as well. I don't, why, why would they change? Why would they change part way through? All right, we got close-ups. We got the Gyarados and Magikarp Pikachu Poncho boys, the Team Skull, the, the, the baddies, the baddie box. We got the Charizard. We got the more different Charizard, the X and Y Charizard Megas. Because if you're going to add Charizards to the franchise, you better add more than one. All right, we got the Mario and the Luigi's. Green box being the the Luigi, even though it should have had like a separate uh, separate artwork for the, the sleeves. I don't think it did. It did for the cards, um, but you would think that they would just it'd be an easy recolor to just put the put the green on there. Oh, we got the fifteenth anniversary Pika, very cool. Little Mandarake. All right, we got the individual. Wait, we just got an extra. Maybe we got an extra Brock. Not sure what this is, but it's cool. We get some kind of e-reader first edition pack deck something twentieth anniversary. Very cool. Very cool. All right, the we got lots of the Alakazam. We're we get, we're into the Steam Steam Siege zone. I guess it's the, the the sealed product that we were looking at earlier. So that's it for the thread, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I thought we'd try something a little bit different, a little bit new. Again, thanks to Viral for posting all of this. Um, I enjoyed looking through it, so I figured why not slap a, a video together uh, so we could uh, we could share the experience. Uh, and again, if you guys want to check back to that thread, I'll put a link to it down below. I'll put a link to the uh, the Baye stuff down below if you wanna if you wanna try out Baye. If you and if you need help, again, join the Discord. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.